up YouTube family? We are back with another video and today your girl has the pleasure of speaking with my YouTube family on setting goals for 2024, setting realistic goals for 2024 as I like to say. I don't know the saying of new year, new me. I'll just kind of take off like energize the bunny when it comes to new year, new me. Um, sort of say, but today I'm going to help you guys strategize those goals, help you strategize going into the new year. Um, so we are not going to be prepared or getting prepared in the new year. We're going to be prepared and getting ourselves prepared this year going into the new year. So I do have my computer here because I do I did take notes on the topics that I wanted to discuss on, and I want to stay on topic for those goals, okay? So, we, we all prepare ourselves for these big vision board parties and create these vision boards and then we find ourselves not accomplishing the goals that are on the vision board. So, today, I am going to show you how to strategize your goals to achieve your goals, okay? The first thing I want to say in order to achieve your goals, in order to have a good new year, in order to take less stress off of yourself, we have to stop over committing ourselves. We got to stop volunteering for things that we know we're not going to have time for. We know we have over um, exhausted ourselves. We know that we got to deal with the kids or deal with the hubby or deal with the house. And we are still, yet yeah, over committing ourselves, putting stress on our bodies, putting stress on our mind. When we have to stop over committing, 2024, we are going to have to start telling people, no, I can't do it. No, not this time. Because if we don't, we're going to continue to run into the same cycle of being exhausted, being stressed out, and being tired. Another thing is that we all would like to have that daily bedtime or morning routine consistently every day we wake in. But let's try not to get so caught up in the routine and focus more on ourselves. If we're unable to awaken and do the routine that we normally do or go to bed and do the routine that we normally do, it's okay. We can simply apply or put down three things down in our notes to accomplish that day. Every day is not going to be the same. We are not robots. And so we have to get that robot mentality out of our mind. We see people in the social media world waking up doing their morning routines, their bedtime routines, but I guarantee you that's not a consistent basis for them. So let's not get caught up on the actual routine, but just being caught up on actually making sure that we do at least apply two to three things that we want to accomplish that day, okay? Creating goals for the new year is my favorite because a lot of times people try to create goals that I'm not going to say are not achievable, but could be two to three down two to three years down the lane. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the fact of creating goals and having that mindset to accomplish them. But in 2024, let's try to focus more on achievable goals, goals that we know that we can achieve within the year. So for an example, let's say that you're in debt and you want to come out of debt but you're in $35,000 worth of debt and you know that you don't have $35,000 to pay off within a year. Your goal, your small goals, your achievable goals would be to pay off the small things that you owe debt to. Not to try to accomplish the whole $35,000 worth of debt, but to take baby steps and to watch your goals or watch yourself climb up the ladder with your goals. Another goal would be to reward yourself. 2024, we have to start taking out time for ourselves, taking out time to make sure that we feel loved, that we are loving on ourselves, not looking for validation from other people, from our family, our friends, our loved ones. We have to start taking time for ourselves 
And I mean, really taking time for yourself. So that's going out to eat, treating yourself by yourself. Okay. Most times we always try to look for a negative and a positive. Someone give you a compliment like, oh girl, that's cute. You look cute. Oh girl, now my stomach too big. Or girl, now uh, my arms too jabby. Sis, take the compliment. Stop looking for a negative and a positive and reward yourself, sis. We got to stop taking small goals and sweeping them up under the rug. No, ma'am. If you accomplished something, if you have checked something off your list, if you have done anything for yourself, reward yourself. It is okay to reward yourself. It is okay to take out time for yourself. Love on yourself, sis love on yourself the next thing that's on my list is to make time for yourself i just briefly touched on that but we have to be intentionally about making time for ourselves before the house wake up before the kids wake up before hubby wake up get up two hours in advance you don't got to do it every day choose two days out of the week but make time for yourself or when the house goes to sleep stay up Love on yourself. Take time for yourself. Get to know you're growing each and every day. We are not the same as we was last year or two years before. So get to know who you are. Okay? We're going to go into 2024 ready, okay? We're not going to wait to 2024. We're going to go into 2024 ready because we are going to use these realistic goals and we are going to apply them we are going to write it down we're going to put it in our phone put it in our notes right now and we're going to be intentional about not over committing ourselves about taking time out for ourselves about rewarding ourselves and about making realistic goals okay we are ready for 2024 we are amped up we are thanking god in advance for what he's going to do we are not going to and complain about what he has not done or what has not came to us but we are going to go into 2024 with realistic goals and ready to knock them out okay y'all for real like like for real y'all okay also my favorite one of them all y'all is to reflect and i just kind of slick touched on that but we are not the same as we was two years ago and I oftentimes reflect on holidays. That's how I do my reflection. I reflect on where I was or what I was doing or where I was at in my career, where I was at in my life on every holiday for the new year. So make sure you take out some time to reflect. Make sure you have the desire to be better and do better. That's the only way that you can elevate. That's the only way that you can accomplish goals is to have that desire to win, to have the desire to love on yourself, to have that desire, the, to have that desire to go and get it. Don't worry about what everybody else got to say, but do it for you and only you. Okay? Reflect, reflect, reflect. Reflect on your finances. Reflect on your relationships. Reflect on your, your spiritual well-being. Reflect on your family well-being. Reflect, reflect, reflect. We need to start actually jotting down things now and today. You know, we need to start jotting down things today and reflecting. We need to have that motivation. I was doing X, Y, Z. This year, I'm going to do A, B, C. Reflection is a big key to accomplishing your goals and making sure that you achieve your goals, realistic goals in 2024, okay, y'all? Find a therapist. If you need therapy, reflect on if you're struggling with things that you dealt with in the past, in your childhood. Better credit score. Pay the debt off if you want a better credit score. Eat better if you desire to eat better, if you desire to have a healthier way. And again, the most important thing of them all is to be gentle with yourself, love on yourself, appreciate yourself, and don't be afraid to reward hey, y'all. I appreciate you for watching this video. If you have made it thus far with me, you are ready to walk into 2024 with realistic goals and knocking those goals down by using these strategies and these tips. I thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace.